Good morning, Pastor Mike, Ascension Lutheran Church, Wichita, Kansas. I'm running low on coffee creamer. I prefer either hazelnut or chocolate caramel if you want to help me out. Just kidding. My favorite is salted chocolate caramel made by International Delight, but alas, Dylan's no longer carries it. Some people prefer unadulterated coffee. I've always been a cream person, not milk, too thin and watery. I want the substance a little fat brings. Purists consider me unschooled, like putting ketchup on steak. Unappreciative of the complexity of the morning brew. Perhaps. Perhaps also it simply goes back to a dad who used cream in his coffee. Sixty-some years later, here I am. Taste buds are hard to lasso, once broken even harder to redirect. Childhood tastes stick with you for decades, often into your great years. For those of you still in your child-rearing years, what taste do you want your children to love? Why? To what food and drink, physical and spiritual, are you introducing them, placing on their plate, modeling how good and filling this habit is or that habit, reading or listening to the Bible, weekly worship, speaking about Jesus, a rhythm of prayer, owning your sin, forgiving owned sin, remembering every day that Jesus claimed you in baptism, you are His, even and especially to your great years. Parents know full well the outcome of allowing children to create their own menu. Pizza and pop, not peas. Chocolate and cookies, not chicken. We erect food fences so that our children grow strong and sturdy. What faith fences do you erect so that your children grow strong and sturdy, resistant to the temptations of the devil or this world? Do you realize how today's fences lead to tomorrow's forever habits? How are you ensuring your children experience Jesus every day? On what spiritual meal plan do you have them for the sake of their souls? Developing a taste for Jesus, one that cannot be broken, like coffee with sweet cream, still good after all these years. Blessings on your Lenten devotion.